Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today, we're reading for January 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th, Monday through Thursday, for my Tauruses. Hello, my Tauruses. Now, you know that I'm using my two Radley Valentine decks, Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message, my Angel Tarot cards, I'll pull one. I'll also pull one in from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. I've prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy. Remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest, okay? Okay. I'm an intuitive uh, channeler. I open myself to higher power. I My job is just to deliver the message. I don't have to understand it, and it's usually best when I don't. Okay, there's a lot of things going on this week, but we'll put our cards down first one. Two and three. Reversed cards have a little stronger energy. Let's talk about what's going on. We'll do it real quickly. Okay, January 6th, Mars, which has been in Aries, goes to, into Taurus at 5.27 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's going to bring about a lot of determination, very stubborn and resolute type of energy. It's, this is where I'm going, this is where I'm going. Do not deviate. You know, it, it, so there is a little bit of blinders there, especially for you, because it's going into your sign. Now, Venus has been in Sagittarius, which has been a little bit playful. It is now going into Capricorn on January 8th at 10.41 a.m. Eastern Time. It's very loving, very determined. It's also very committed. So between Mars and Venus, and I, you know, Mars and Venus, there's a lot of commitment here. Okay, so, and that's, that, that'll be positive, except that, you know, there, you won't, there won't be a lot of deviation. It's kind of like, this is where I'm going. This is what I want. Now, Mercury, which has been in Capricorn, it is transitioning on the 8th, at, um, at 9.44 p.m. Eastern Time. It's transitioning into Aquarius. Now, Aquarius is kind of, you know, Mercury is about, um, you know, communication. Aquarius, so ideas will just kind of flow into your mind. It's going to be very unconventional type of thinking, unconventional news. So we're going to hear things that, not, that may not necessarily be a part of our paradigm. But it's also thinking outside the box. However, it it can create it can create um, you know an environment where we don't really want to hear other people's positions. Okay, um, just because you know Aquarius can be a little bit on that rebellious side too. So lots and lots of different types of energy going on now. Let's go on and see what we have for my Tauruses for the week. Again, reversed, reversed. Here we go. Okay, my Tauruses, you should have been, you know, you are moving into, you should be moving into that new opportunity, that new work opportunity. But this is also, I feel like this is a little bit more than that. Now, Ariel is your energy. Um, it is also uh, Virgo. It's also Capricorn. So we got those things going on with you know, Taurus and with Capricorn, um, solid, something you can touch, money, a lot of times money with your job, but it can also be about your home. It could also be about your environment. Aces, new starts, new beginnings. This is about, this is about kind of like, you know, like gathering. This is like opening that energy up and saying, come on, money, come on, opportunities, come on, let's go for this. Um, you know, I, I feel like, you know, I kind of feel like you're, you know, like a, a superhero, and you're kind, you know, I, I don't understand this, but I'll just say it, you know, you're like, you're just, you know, and then you're the superhero, you know what I mean, it's like, you're coming out of yourself, you're coming out of who you've been, and you're, you know, you're a superhero, you're determined, you're, you're, you know, it's, I don't, I'm not going to say that it's so much that you're here to save the day, but it's just kind of like, you know, you're, you're throwing off the illusion, you're throwing off the, um, you know, the cover-up. You're just throwing it off and you're going forward and you're stepping outside. It's, it's you know, so this Mars with Taurus is just kind of like, you know, F, you know I, I, I've done what everybody's wanted me to do. It's, 
You know, so what this means is like, you know, when when you see the superheroes and they, they're taking off their disguise. OK, OK. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time or support, a change in job or promotion. Your next card here, King of Gabriel. Now, kings have that underlying energy of air, which is that wisdom. Gabriel is passionate. Gabe, you know, so this is fire energy. This is our you know, so you have the wisdom of the air, okay? The king is like the wisest of the wise. But you also have the passion of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The king of Gabriel also looks at the bigger picture. Doesn't necessarily get caught up in details. Again, I, I, I kind of, I just feel like you're, you know, like you're pulling this out and you're just kind of like, nope. So that there's, very, there's a lot of liberation with this, liberator, you know, just kind of going through shedding the cover up, shedding the, the you know, the um, illusion and being who you were meant to be type of energy, seeing that big picture also. The king is, you know, the king steps into it the, and takes total responsibility, moves into his place. Now, male or female, it's still the same type of energy. Generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Yeah, and I do feel that. I do feel that. I think that with Venus going into Capricorn like that, I do think that you are looking at others too. It's not. This is not selfish. This is not selfish or self-centered as much as it is, you know, I don't know. It, 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 this is, there's a lot of sharing type of energy out here. There's a lot of sharing in order to help somebody else people, whoever that is, help also. Again, I feel like you're being a superhero and you're there to save the day. Here we go. Last card, reversed. Queen of Raphael. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion. Queens are water energies to begin with, but then this is Queen of Raphael, which is water energy. There is, there's, I mean, this is like a, an emotional transformation for you, an emotional metamorphosis, if we want to even say this. There is just, it's like, it's just, it, there, there's, I, I feel kind of like tears of relief, tears of, you know, kind of release, I should say. I feel like you're, you know, like just kind of like, you know, just, I don't feel sadness as much as I, I I'm not going to say you don't cry because there's some, but it's just kind of like, just release. There's tears of release, okay? So the queen, water, water is our Pisces, it is our Cancer, and it is also our Sagittarius, I'm sorry, our Scorpio, fluid, very emotional. And so as this is moving forward, there's just this release, this emotional, emotional, emotional release this week. So don't be alarmed, don't be upset if you're a little more sensitive, if you're a little bit more, you know, like you, you, because you know, there's also, again, with these two cards here, there's also a lot of truth seeking and truth seeing. This is, this is just tears of release. You know, the release is good. This is healthy. This actually helps to get a lot of old toxins out of you too. Okay. Queen of Raphael is kind, understanding, giving, psychic. You do have that psychic link. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. Here we go. Yeah, so don't don't be alarmed if if, there, if you want to go, you know, if you excuse yourself to, to step out because you don't want someone to see you crying. Um, you know, don't don't be alarmed if you're a little more sensitive than normal. Again, it's kind of like, oh, thank you, thank you. You know, kind of like, thank you, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe. It, there's just such a release here, okay? So let's go on, and we're going to pull one card. Here we are. Not reversed. Balance. I like this. This is Archangel Zedkiel. Now, Zedkiel, you know, so write his name down. Um, I can't tell you too much about Archangel Zedkiel. Uh, this is about balance. This is about, there's a lot of justice here. There's, a, you know, because justice, the scales of justice, things, things writing themselves here. So, you know, it's a 14. So we have that 10 transition. We have a one, new beginning. We have a four, has a stability and new foundations. So I'm, feel, I'm feeling like this is a new foundation for you also. So, 
the need for balance and moderation, co um, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing, because there's a lot of things here coming out. There's a lot of this, you know, this very good positive energy, but there's a lot of releasing too. So don't be alarmed with your emotions this week. Don't be alarmed. Let them flow. Let them flow. I'm not going to, you know, I mean, if you, if you need to go and step away somewhere else, but let the emotions flow through you. I feel a lot of toxins a lot of, you know, um, toxic energy being released also for you this week, okay? And there is, you know, and I don't know why <laughs> my mind has just a lot of stuff in it, but this is like I need to tell you. There is a different chemical makeup in tears. There's a different chemical when you are happy and you're rejoicing and celebrating. There's a, it, you know, versus if you're sad or upset. The tears themselves, there's a different chemical makeup. So like I said, it's very, you know, it, it, it's, it's letting toxins flow and letting toxins get out of you, okay? Emily Anderson, let's see what we have here. What crystal, oops, what crystal might be helpful for my Tauruses? This one's reversed. Golden Topaz. Oh, I, I don't have that. <laughs> if I could pretend, we could say, is there one of these? No. Anyway, I don't have that. Faith, wise action, perseverance, confidence. Well, that, you know, those changes will pull that confidence more out, more out, out of you more. Here we go. Remember balance. Remember Archangel Zedekiel. Okay? Okay. This is, I mean, this is really positive. It feels good. You know, I know that you might be, yeah, Deva, but I'm the one that has to go through this. Well, you know, it. like I said, it, there's a lot of toxins being released for you, okay? Now, you know the button. It does help. I want to thank you so much by supporting me with that. So thank you. It does encourage me also. But my Tauruses, as always, know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.